Hello everyone, Nathan here from PH Studios and welcome to my XNA Quick Tips podcast. This podcast was record, recorded October 8th, 2011, and we discussed the Try Catch Finally block. Hey everyone, Nathan here from PH Studios and welcome to another episode of the XNA Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the Try Catch and Finally, those three blocks that can be used to uh, help your program from doing a crash whenever a person's using the program. Sometimes it'll not respond and you'll get the Windows message saying that the program had an error. So if you want to lower the number of chances that that will happen, you will want to try catching finally. You don't need to finally block. Just try catch is the only things you need. I'm just also discussing what finally will do. Alright, so what this, basically it does what it says. We're going to try, and in the block we're going to try that code. If that code does not work, it's going to go into the catch block. And then the finally block is performed even if the code was tried and it was successfully completed, or the code tried it and failed and went into the catch block. So the finally block is always called no matter what. And again, you do not need the finally block. You just need to try and catch. So, again, I mentioned this in the last podcast. I'm just going to do basic uh, weird things to the code just for demonstration's sake. Because uh, I'm not going to spend a, a two hours creating a very detailed example and give you a real life overview on what real life solution or uh, demonstration on how this might occur but sometimes you will encounter a time where you try to divide by zero and if you don't do a try catch your program will crash for example let me comment this out let me comment this out and let's do a uh, INTY is equal to 3 or 4 divided by X alright let's run that code and it had an error, but we're running it in Visual Studio. Let me go to the output, and uh, let me do that again. All right, so let me run it outside of Visual Studio, and you'll see what I'm getting at here. It actually performed it, but it said Quick Tips has stopped recording. Uh, stopped working and it you just get that annoying message it, it says what happened but you get this not working thing and it just becomes a mess now I'm not saying you can solve all of your issues with try catch but you can solve division by zero or things like that you can solve by try catch so let me just demonstrate that I'll do the same thing but I'm gonna output 3 divided by x See, now we output the error just like last time, but now our code, we can actually use the code and it'll, the program can still run. And then actually out, it actually said finally because it went to the finally block. Now, if I set x to 1, let's we'll see what happens. 3 divided by 1 is 3 and it's still called that finally block. So, it didn't call this catch block, but finally, the finally block is called... Uh, no matter what. So, dispose of your objects, things like that. That's what people like to use in the finally block. Destroy the objects, things like that. Set them to null. Uh, just get rid of them. But again, you do not need the finally block and it'll still run fine. So that's a brief overview on the try catch. But, let me give you a quick uh, tip, a quick addition to the tip catch exception e catches all failures of the specified code let's say you want to catch a specific error and do something uh, specific from that result so I want to say this will actually divide by zero so it will be a divide by zero exception divide by zero exception uh, divide by zero exception. I like to do the uh, abbreviations and 
just makes it a little bit easier. All right, so we're actually catching the divide by zero exception from this code. And we want to actually say console.writeline, you cannot divide by zero. So instead of writing the complete error, we are catching the divide by zero exception and it'll output something differently. So let me run this code. And it says you cannot divide by zero. So you can have all sorts of catch, just change the exception. And if you want to catch globally any exception at all, whatever occurs, you have this catch exception E that catches them all. So this is, even though this says XNA quick tips, it's both XNA and C sharp. So if you're building a C sharp application that is trying to accept a lot of user input, you want a lot of try catch because the user might accidentally type a digit when you're expecting a character or that you're actually expecting a number and you want to cast it to a integer value but the cast fails when you have a character in that string. So that's a try catch catch and finally block. You can have multiple catches, uh, individual specific exceptions or the global master exception catcher and uh, the finally block will be called uh, no matter what happens, it'll always be called no matter what. You do not have to have the finally block. And if you only want to have one catch block, uh, just catch exception E, catch the global exception. Alright, so there you go.